Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to make Capri Sun waterproof labels with the Cricut Print and Cut feature. And the supplies needed for this project are any Cricut machine, any color printer, waterproof sticker paper. I am using Koala holographic printable sticker paper and a sub glossy white sticker paper. In the description below, you will find the links of all the products used in this tutorial. I'm going to start working with the design in the Cricut Design Space program. But before, I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. I have these stickers ready to print then cut, but I will show you how to make them here in the Cricut Design Space program. To make it easy, I will be giving you the blank template on my blog. Find the link in the video description down below. To make the template from the beginning, go to Shapes and select this pennant. Click on the lock and resize it to 3.5 by 5 inches. Now go to Operation to change color. I have these two images that I'm going to use to customize this label. The Capri Song logo I downloaded from Google and the little turtle is from Creative Fabrica. I'm going to link the little turtle in the video description down below. Align the images on top of the template, go to Arrange and send them to the front. Now add text in the center. Go to the T on the left and start typing. To change the font, go to Font. If you pay the Cricut membership, click on Cricut. If you don't have it, click on System. There you will find the list of all the fonts that you have on your computer. The font that I am using is called Laris Manis. This one is from Creative Fabrica. I'm going to link it in the video description down below. To change the color, Select the font, click on Operation, and select the color of your choice. Once the label is ready, select All and click on Flatten. Now the label is ready to be printed and cut. I'm going to print four of them. The first two on the left are going to be printed with white sticker paper and the other two on the right are going to be printed with holographic sticker paper. Both of them are waterproof. Now let's go make it. Continue. Send to printer. Remove the bleed. Check Use System Dialog, click on Print, select the printer you are using, click on Preferences, and here you're going to select Photo Printing. On Media Type, if you are using Glossy Sticker Paper, you're going to select Glossy Photo Paper. If you are using Matte Sticker Paper, you're going to select matte photo paper. I'm going to select glossy sticker paper. On quality, select high. Make sure it's on letter size. Click OK and print. First, I am printing the sticker labels using the holographic sticker paper. Now here we're going to select the material that we're going to cut. In this case, I'm cutting sticker paper. You can either select 
sticker paper removable or printable sticker paper white. To show you, I'm going to cut the holographic sticker labels using the printable sticker paper setting. And for the white sticker labels, I'm going to use the sticker paper removable. These first two were cut using holographic printable sticker paper. And these other ones were cut using white sticker paper. In the video description down below, you can find all the links of the products used in this tutorial. Now I'm going to go ahead and place the stickers on the juice pouches. The two sticker papers I used to print these labels are waterproof. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.